Drem Yol Lok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunma, my mountain? Who are you? I am Dagoth Ur, Lord of the Sixth House, and I am here first, as I was at Red Mountain long ago. You may know me as Vorin Dagoth, member of the House of Dagoth. Though I no longer identify with the mortal name, I am the Sharmat of Dagoth Ur, who has become a god by using the tools of Kagranak on the heart of Lorcan. How can I assist you, dragon? I have heard your name whispered in the halls of the Greybeards when discussing the return of Dagoth Ur. You are a mortal with the ability to control divine powers, yes? I have heard of many who were able to claim some level of divinity, but only a handful have achieved something akin to being an actual deity. Tell me, how did you achieve such a state of being? My friend, the answer is simple. We are gods. Our divine powers must seem like madness to you, but we are immortal, and our schemes stretch long throughout the ages. Gods do as they desire. We are not interested in helping mere mortals. We will only help ourselves, for we are superior to you, and so we will take control of your realm, and then we will take control of the entire world. Your goals seem... extreme. With that kind of power, why not attempt to create a world where mortals like ourself can coexist and learn from each other? If you are truly a deity, this seems like a perfect chance to show the world how a superior being can improve their lives, instead of forcing them to endure blight due to your desire for power. My friend, do you not understand? Gods do not rule. Gods should be followed and obeyed. We will not rule mortals. We will liberate them from their own ignorance and weakness. We will liberate them from the lies of the temple. We will liberate them from their mortal form. We will liberate them to serve as soldiers in our wars. We will liberate them with divine disease. Such is our duty. Your plans seem selfish, and your superiority complex is unfounded. If you claim to be superior to mortals, then why do you need to rule over them? Wouldn't a true god be able to watch, content to merely observe, while mortals work to improve? What use could a god have for a mortal other than to satisfy their power complex? My friend, mortals do not know what they want. If they did, they would not serve the false gods of the temple. Mortals believe their free will is their most important virtue. It is not. Their most important virtue is their obedience. With obedience, mortals have peace. Obedience is how mortals know truth. So, by obeying us, they will be liberated. I see you have a very different understanding of the word liberation compared to mine. Mortals do not want to be liberated. Mortals should be treated with respect. Mortals will fight against you and fight for their rights. Tell me, will all of these mortals have the choice to go back to their normal lives if they wish? Or will you liberate them by taking away their own free will to serve you as a god? My friend, if mortals wish to be free, then they should stop worshipping their gods. They will never be free so long as they worship. If mortals wish to truly be free, then they must obey. They must obey Dagoth Ur. Their obedience and worship will bring them peace. It is better to obey than to worship. Do you understand? No, I do not. How can you believe obedience is better than free will? Why do mortals need a god to obey in order to feel peace and happiness in their lives? Obeying a cruel master can never bring true happiness and peace, especially for those who care about their rights and their freedom. Even if the Temple of the Divines isn't perfect, how is your rule of terror any better? My friend, my rule of terror has not even begun. I suggest you learn to live with it now. For when I finish the second Akulakan, you will have no choice. When the Akulakan is ready, I will have my ash vampires carry it to the surface of Tamriel. And we will drive the Imperial scum from Morrowind. And then, I will lead my people into a new age. Of enlightenment and paradise. I am Dagoth Ur, god and ruler of Morrowind. 
and I have come to redeem the Dunmer. If your strength is absolute, you need not resort to force to show it. If your rule truly brings happiness and enlightenment, I am sure the Dunmer would follow you willingly. I do not challenge your strength, but I question your morality. Tell me, as a god, is it your nature to oppress and terrorize mortals? Will you continue to rule by might over right? Why not simply rule through love? You claim to be a god, why not be a benevolent one? King, is that supposed to dissuade me? I'm a god king, are you not listening? I am Dagoth Ur, god of Red Mountain. I am Dagoth Ur, god of the sixth house and friend to the ash vampires. I am your god, and I am telling you that I will liberate Morrowind because I am a god. My strength is absolute and I shall make it manifest. It is futile to challenge a god. Now submit or perish. I may be naive, but I know that mortals would rather die a free man than live as a slave. Is love really a weakness? Does mercy or compassion ever hinder your ability to rule? The power of the gods comes from their care for their followers. To believe that love and compassion are weaknesses is to believe you will never be loved. I challenge your views, Dagoth Ur. I fight for my people and I will never serve you. My old friend, how naive are you? Mortals do not follow willingly. Mortals need only obey. Love is a weakness. I am not weak. I am Dagoth Ur. I am a god. I will not be kind. I will not be patient. You will either die now or join me as my slave forever. I may be weak, but that is why I have allies to help me. Dagoth Ur, you are no god. True gods rule through compassion and love. If your followers do not love you, you are merely a tyrant with the power to oppress others. I may be weak, but this is only because I know I am mortal. Only mortals can truly learn from their mistakes. I will die on my feet. I will not serve you. I will fight to the last breath for what I believe in. I will destroy you, for you are weak. Such is my grand and intoxicating innocence. I am Dagoth Ur, god of this whole freaking universe. Why would I require the love of my people? I will drive you from your lands and take my place as a god. My power does not come from the love of my people. You will not stand in my way. You will die, worm, like the rest of them. I believe in the rights of men, the mortal right to free will. If you call yourself a god, I have one last question for you. Why asterisk should asterisk I serve you? What do you believe in? You will die either way. Why not serve? I am a god, my friend. I am Dagoth Ur. Your ally will die like the rest. Now, die. <laughs>